Hello everyone and welcome back. This is step six in building your rainwater harvesting system. In this video, I'll go over pre-filtration and filtration. In my previous videos, I've talked about gutter guard on your gutters. Uh, this gutter guard will prevent leaves from entering into the gutters. Gutter guard is something I still am using for pre-filtration. However, I only use it on one side of my house right now. And it's something I recommend uh, that you use if you have any trees uh, that drop leaves heavily in the fall or they just have a lot of debris coming off them or for any reason if you just have a lot of debris getting in your gutters uh, your first step in pre-filtration will be your gutter guard you can see here that I only have gutter guard on about 20 feet of my gutter the rest of my gutters do not have gutter guard gutter guards are our like our first line of defense for uh, pre-filtration but our second line of defense will be a first flush diverter in front of you you see these three pipes and in step four I go over the first flush diverter and how it works so our second our second stage in pre-filtration then would be a first flush diverter what you see here in front of you I've done one more thing to pre-filter my water this is a very cheap and easy way to pre-filter your water and all I've done is simply uh, add some pantyhose filters into my plumbing here. You can see here, there's a little bit of, you can see this pantyhose is sticking out. This, this part obviously I do not have glue where I can take this off easily. By setting this back on, this is what's holding my pantyhose filters right here on, onto this pipe. I put it here because the pantyhose filter hangs and I don't want to put it here and then have it hanging into my water, uh, whatever I'm catching. And I've noticed I catch quite a bit of leaves uh, and very small um, particles from the uh, asphalt, asphalt shingles, that's a hard word to say. Uh, so I, I put a double liner as well, so there's two pantyhose filters here, you just pull them right out. I've recently cleaned it, so it's clean now, but it was about up to here and leaves uh, from one rain. Uh, now I keep most of my gutters clean most of the time, but there's going to be times you can't always clean your gutters, and it's essential that you have uh, something like this because it's a considerable amount that I catch in here that you do not want getting in your tank. Now I do still have one more uh, pantyhose filter and that is actually here on the lid. Okay, if I take the lid off, you can see I have another pantyhose filter here. Uh, this I tighten up as much as I can here so I don't have much of a hang so because I don't want this hanging in my water I actually I need to pull it up some it might have got pulled down a little bit from the flow of the water uh, but I try to get it where it's just literally completely flush here to catch anything remaining you can see it, it, it caught I it caught some dirt here I purposely did not clean this uh, yesterday so I could show you this today what I'll do now is I'll clean this and how I'm going to clean this is I'm just going to take a water hose with a spray nozzle and just spray it off and I'll show you uh, how clean it gets then and how much dirt was on here. So you could see just a quick rinse uh, how much dirt and debris was on this la this second line of pantyhose filter. And again, this is a double line. So I have a total of four pantyhose filters before my water enters my tanks. After my pantyhose filters, that is the last pre-filtration that I do to my water. After that, I have a water filtration board 
that then can filter and purify my water. Uh, I'll show you a quick clip of this, but you, I also have a video that you can watch uh, over this. There's two videos. One, I show you, um, I explain this water filtration board and how it works. And on the other video, uh, it's an update of this water filtration board that you can see right here now. So this is a uh, purification board. Uh, that's what I like to call it. So basically what this system does, um, here on the left side, it f filters the water. It just takes more sediment, dirt, debris out of the water. And then over here, uh, in this last filter, it actually takes out bacteria. I also have a UV light attached at the end of this system. Uh, that is actually in the garage. Um, but you'll have to check out the video um, that I have just over this and I'll post a link uh, right here in the video and you can check that out. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos. Uh, my next video will be a product review over the UV light filter I have. Uh, from there I'll do other reviews as well a lot of what you see in front of you and also a few other products that I haven't put on the channel yet.